If we were to replace our sun with a black hole of the same mass, its radius would be a mere two miles, and despite being so close to a black hole, the orbital path of Earth and the planets would remain unaffected. So welcome and join me, the Cosmic Skipper, as we delve into black hole types, characteristics, answer how massive they can be, and how a little known scientist was the first person to make the connection between gravity, escape velocity, and the light that leads to their creation. In 1783, an influential theory emerged from John Mitchell, a clergyman and brilliant scientist. He postulated that when light travels from a star, its speed is influenced by the star's gravitational pull. If this gravitational pull becomes exceptionally strong, light would be unable to escape the star's grasp, resulting in the creation of what he termed a dark star. This foresight laid the foundation for the notion of gravitational escape velocity which contributed significantly to the development of the concept of black holes in the 20th century. At the heart of a black hole lies the singularity, a point of infinite density and zero volume, where all the mass of the black hole is concentrated. The gravitational field at the singularity becomes extraordinarily strong, resulting in a region of space-time where the usual laws of physics break down. However, this singularity remains hidden from us due to the defining characteristic of a black hole, the event horizon. This imaginary boundary surrounds the singularity and marks the point of no return for anything crossing it. Once inside the event horizon, the velocity required to escape back out would surpass the speed of light, rendering escape impossible, trapping anything within the black hole. The concept of the event horizon and the singularity align remarkably well with Mitchell's initial proposal about dark stars, underscoring the significant role his theory played in advancing our understanding of escape velocities from massive objects. Black holes also possess a surrounding accretion disk, a structure formed when matter from the surrounding space, such as gas and dust, is drawn towards the black hole. This matter forms a rotating disk-like structure composed of hot, ionised gas that emits intense radiation as it spirals inward toward the event horizon. Stellar black holes are born from the remnants of massive stars when their mass exceeds three times that of our Sun. At the end of their life cycle, these stars undergo a catastrophic supernova explosion with the remaining core collapsing under its own gravitational force, resulting in the formation of the singularity. Stellar black holes are widespread throughout the universe, and though incredibly dense, their gravitational influence is limited to their immediate vicinity, where they may devour nearby matter creating detectable accretion disks. Intermediate black holes bridge the gap between stellar black holes and the supermassive behemoths found at the centre of galaxies. Their formation mechanism is yet to be fully understood, but scientists speculate they might originate from the merging of smaller black holes or the gradual accumulation of gas and dust over time. The final type are supermassive black holes. These colossal cosmic giants are found at the centre of most massive galaxies, including our own Milky Way, and boast masses ranging from millions to several billion times that of our Sun. Despite their prevalence, the exact mechanisms underlying their formation remain unclear, with leading theories suggesting they grow from the merger of smaller black holes or through the rapid accretion of gas and dust over vast periods. It is estimated that the Milky Way alone hosts anywhere from 10 million to a billion black holes. Among them, the supermassive black hole Sagittarius A star at the galactic centre stands as the largest possessing a mass equivalent of 4.3 million solar masses. Placing this beast at the centre of our solar system would be gravitationally catastrophic, as its event horizon would lie approximately 7 million miles from the centre, with an immense gravitational pull. Our Sun, whose radius measures about 430,000 miles, is a mere speck. Yet even Sagittarius A star appears insignificant in comparison to the colossal behemoth known as Tun 618, situated 18 billion light-years away from Earth, 
this gargantuan supermassive black hole possesses a mass roughly 40 billion times greater than that of our Sun. Placing it at the centre of the solar system would mean its event horizon would be some 120 billion miles away, an utterly incomprehensible distance, so let me try and put it into some form of perspective. Neptune, the outermost planet of the solar system, would be a mere 2.5% of the way to the event horizon, whilst being at Earth would mean you've only travelled 0.1% of the way. I wonder then if John Mitchell, when he first thought of dark stars, had any idea how large these objects could be. Thank you for watching and please consider liking and subscribing if you enjoyed my latest video.